Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, a homeowner is building three steps leading to a deck as modeled by the diagram. All three step rises, HA, FG, and DE are congruent, and all three runs, HG, FE, and DC are congruent. Each step rise is perpendicular to the run, right? So you can see all the three right angles. And the measure of angle CAB is 36 degrees, and CBA is 90 degrees. If each step run is parallel to AB and has a length of 10, so each one of these runs is 10, so 10, 10, 10, determine and state the length of each rise. So the first thing we want to find is that rise x. In order to figure that out, the first thing we're going to use is the fact that each one of these runs is parallel to AB. So we actually have some alternate interior angles here. Right? If this is 36, then I know that this angle here is also 36 using alternate interior angles. Okay. Now, to figure out the measure of x. We're going to go back and use our knowledge of Sokotoa because we're dealing with angles and sides of a right triangle. Okay. So looking at that triangle there, right? here's the angle. I know x, which is the opposite side to that angle. Right? And the other side I know is the adjacent side, which is 10. So the trick function that uses opposite and adjacent is tangent. So I know tangent of my angle, which in this case is 36 degrees, is the opposite side, x, over the adjacent side, 10. Multiplying that 10, uh, multiplying that 10 over to the other side, right, I get 10 times tangent of 36 degrees is equal to x. And when I plug that into my calculator, I get approximately 7.3 to be the length of each step rise. So 7.3 inches. Now we want to know, if you look on the bottom here, we want to determine and state the length of AC to the nearest inch. Okay. And AC is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. In order to figure that out, now I need to know each one of these measures here. Okay. And there's three in total, right? I have AG, I have GE, and I have EC. But they're all equivalent, so if I can find one, then I can just multiply by three, and that'll give me my whole length AC. So again, we're going to use our trig. Okay, but now I'm looking for the hypotenuse. Okay, so let me get my little eraser here and clear some of this out. Okay, so now still adjacent side is 10, but now I'm looking for the hypotenuse and let's label that y. Okay, so adjacent and hypotenuse, now we're going to be using cosine. So cosine of 36 degrees is adjacent, which is 10, over hypotenuse, which is what we're trying to find, right? That's AG, which is Y in our case. We're going to multiply that Y over to the other side, right, which clears it out. And we have Y times cosine of 36 degrees is equal to 10. And then we'll go ahead and divide that cosine of 36 degrees on both sides, which is going to allow us to approximate that length y to be about 12.3607. But keep in mind that's only y, right, which is ag, right? And we said that ag, ge, and C, um, ec are all equivalent. So if I want to know ac, Right? That's going to be 3 times that 12.3607. Right? 
which is about 37 inches total.